Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, May the 7th, 2018, and this is episode 2763. My name is Bruce Turner. Thanks so much for being a part of Morning Manna today. Today's episode is titled, He Knows. Stay tuned. ever have this experience growing up in your house when you were a child? (laughs) Your mom, yeah, let's just pick on moms today. Coming up Mother's Day. Oh man, I had such a great mom. But your mom knew something and you wondered, how in the world did she know that? Well, my mom would say, (laughs) a little birdie told me. Did you ever have your mom say that to you? A little birdie told you? Well, turns out moms knew a whole lot more than we gave them credit for. But hey, God's knowledge is infinite. He knows. Listen to Job 23 and verse 10. This is a declaration by Job as he's gone through these tremendous trials and the criticism and the judgment of his supposed friends. But he makes this statement, this declaration in Job 23.10. He says, but he knows the way that I take. And when he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. He knows the way that you take. And when he has tested you, you shall come forth as gold as gold. Now, when you think about God's God's foreknowledge or God's omniscience, the fact that God knows everything, you're going to have one of two thoughts. One of the thoughts you're going to have is a negative thought. Oh, my soul. Just like your mom. Oh, she knew that I snuck in the house late that night. I thought she didn't know, but she knows. Oh, I'm in trouble. And you see God as the gotcha God, you know, God knows. And so He's going to just really whack me over the head with a two by four. And then there's the other thing that you might think when you think about God's knowledge. And that's what I want to really focus on today. That God knows. God knows your trials. God knows your challenges. God knows your fears. But not only does he know, he understands. I love what Hebrews says, for we have not a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are without yet without sin. You see, God only knows, but he understands and he feels. God knows. Now I was reading this morning in Psalm 139, and I want to read the first six verses of this Psalm to you. And I want to encourage you today as you go through your day to know that God knows David said, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You have hedged me behind and before You laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. It's a wonderful thing today to know that he knows. And I want you to be encouraged today by that powerful truth. Father, thank you for your knowledge, your intimate knowledge of us, our thoughts, our ways our words. Lord, we look to you for strength. We're thankful that you understand. And we're thankful today, Lord, that you're testing, you're refining, and we shall come forth as gold. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Our website is morningmanna.com. You can listen to all the episodes there. You can share them there on social media. Remember, you can subscribe to Morning Manna. You can play it on Alexa, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Google Play. Morning Manna is there. Thanks for listening today. Be encouraged. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.